Hey there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Hope you're having a fabulous week so far. I'm gonna to try to make it just a little bit more fabulous, especially if you work with badly behaved coworkers. Oh yeah, you know who they are. I know you're not one, but I bet you work with one, at least one, maybe more, hopefully not too many. <laughs> I'm gonna make your life better. All right, I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm talking about. If you work with coworkers who don't always use their object snaps, and you know they're just drafting willy-nilly i'm going to help you out all right so let's let me show you an example i'm in a situation where i have these three lines on the screen and i want to turn it into a polyline maybe i want to change the width or i want to fill it them who knows what the deal is all right so i go in the p edit command sounds simple enough you know i don't know why they didn't use a polyline to begin with but that's okay i'm going to select this line do you want to turn it into a polyline of course i do i'll show you how to get rid of that question too it's so annoying Ugh. So annoying. And then I go into join, and then I pick the other two objects. All right, and I hit an enter, hit an enter to get out, and then I'm like, what? What happened? Only one segment was added to the polyline. This guy, but what about this one? Why wasn't that one added? Well, upon further investigation, it appears as though there's a gap up here. <sighs> Somebody didn't use their object snaps. It's not contiguous. And oh my gosh, there's a gap down here too. I didn't stand a chance. Pieta Command didn't stand a chance. All right, so let's let's undo that. Let's put that back. We're back to our individual lines. I'm gonna show you a way to get around that, okay? Oh, so annoying, right? So annoying. Let's go back into Pieta. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna use the system variable p edit accept. And I'm gonna turn that guy to one so it doesn't ask me that question. Do you want it, you know, object selected is not a polyline. Do you want to turn it into one? Let's get rid of that. I don't have time in my life for that question. I got things to do, places to go. So do you, I know you do. All right, so that, that's one less headache in our lives. Now let's go back into the p-edit command. Let's try this again. The trick here is we have to use the multiple option, oh yeah. M for multiple, all right? That's gonna give us something a little bit different. That's gonna make our lives better, all right? Select this object and this one and this guy here. It's gonna let me pick all three at the same time now. And then I'm gonna go in to do join, J for join. You can click it, do whatever you want. And then look at ask me an additional question. Enter the fuzz distance, the fuzz factor. It's gonna let me cheat, a fuzz distance. I like to visually show it. It needs to be bigger than the gap. Bigger than that hole, bigger than the distance between the two objects. So I'm just gonna visually kind of show it about that big. And then hit an enter, and it's all good to get out, right? Two segments in this case were added to the polyline. It's all beautiful. Now I have one continuous polyline, piece of cake. I'm gonna do that again on one that's slightly more obvious, just in case you missed it. One more time, a little repeat, one more time, because I know it was fascinating. You gotta see it one more time. <laughs> all right, P edit. It's not asking me that question because we set P edit except to one. Do that right away. M for multiple, right? I'm gonna go ahead and select. You can tell this one doesn't mean at all. This one isn't even close. That guy should be fired. That's not even close. He wasn't even trying at all. He wants to be fired. That guy wants to be fired, right? All right, I selected all three objects and then I'm gonna do a join. Let's go ahead and do join. And there's my fuzz factor again, that fuzz distance. All right, so this one has a huge gaping hole in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and visually draw a fuzz distance over here just to make sure it's big enough. And look at that, it extended the, the lines in the same direction until they meet and then it you know, basically trimmed them all up. It did a beautiful job and now I have one polyline. All right, that's the tip for you. The multiple option lets you do that fuzz distance, otherwise you're not gonna see that. And uh, then make sure you turn P edit except to one. All right, and you're gonna be happy. I want you to be happy. It's all about you. It is, it is. It is all about you. It's not about me. It is all about you. <laughs> Have a great rest of the week.